Hey guys, it's our Miranda Burke with Dear Dot Natty Mae Theater Productions. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video with you guys. It's been what over a month, maybe. I think we're closer to 40 days. Um, and I remember I told you guys I was taking a social media sabbatical. So we're about a little close, like I said, close to 40 days to it. But first thing, let's get into this beat. So you guys know I love to beat my face. Now, here's the funny thing. I have not really worn makeup a lot since I started the sabbatical. Um, a lot of it was because my skin, I had put on some foundation. Um, I, I'm not going to say the brand. Um, and it caused a reaction to my skin. So, for about that time, I took some time off from it. I wore makeup, I want to say, at least twice in that time during my sabbatical. And it's, my skin started to clear up, but I knew I needed to let my skin break from, you know, just the foundation and whatnot and all the makeup. And you guys know, I love makeup. Like that's just period. Like I love my makeup. So um, secondly, let's give a shout out. Good company, um, good distancing. You guys, please go support good company. Like whatever you do, go support good company. Um, Donnie Harper and his beautiful wife's here. Um, it's their brand. Please go support them. Fantastic vision. I love, I have three, wait a minute. I have three good company shots, I think. Um, maybe four, but I'm, I'm getting some more. I'm getting some more good company brand brand for the, like for the fall and the winter. I love what they stand for, especially some long sleeves. I really wanna um, get some of those, but Getting back into it, what have I been up to since I've been on sabbatical? Well, first thing is I did go back to work. I went back now three weeks ago. Um, I'm back in the building. No students. We're still remote. They're virtual, but I had to go back in the building. And it is a very different feeling. Like it's one of those things that I have to surrender my fears and concerns and cares to God, because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to cast our cares on him anyways. Um, But it, going back, was not the best feeling. Like, it was, you know, because when everything had initially started, it was so much fear induced in all of us and panic. Like, we have to shut everything down. And, you know, when you go into that mindset and then you're asking people to go back to normal as much as possible, it, it's a hard reality. So I'm not going to lie. It had it had been really hard. It was a really hard adjustment. Um, but I'm making it. You know, I'm making it. We're back in the classroom. We're rocking it out. I get to see I get to see my students, my kiddos. But it's different because I love hugging and nurturing them. And I can't even do that right now. So um, I've just been finding creative ways to just like even talk to them when we're in lessons and whatnot. But that's the first thing. Um, and secondly, um, I am working on something. I am finish, finishing something that should have been finished years ago. So I'm very excited because I'm take, I've taken a leap of faith to do this. Um, my close circle knows what it is and I'm so grateful because I didn't think I would get this opportunity to finish it again. I was already so close to the finish line. I didn't realize how close I was to the finish line. So in a couple months, I'll be done with what I've been trying to complete. If you get what I'm saying. And I can't wait to announce what that is. Like to, not even so much say announce, but just to be able to just jump for joy when it's done. So like I said, my close family and friend, friends know who they are. I mean, they know what it is that I've been working on, um, especially my, my coworkers. Um, and I want to give a shout out to them. Parker Woods Montessori. I love my coworkers. They are fantastic. You talking about like a family, um, especially when I shared with them what I'm finishing, what I'm completing. They were just like so supportive of the mission. And I'm just grateful to have them a part of that journey as I'm wrapping up what I need to work, finish working on. So that's what else I've been working on. So I've been getting adjusted in that area. And then lastly, um, I've been working on Dear Dot Nanny May. Um, as you guys know, like I said, we had we were working on No Ordinary Love early at the top of the year. And then COVID said, no, ma'am, you're not putting on a stage play. <laughs> so I was like, okay, 
uh, guys, so what, are we, what am I going to do with this cast? Um, what are you going to do in the meantime? So we've been working on our project. So we are still working on that project, something that's like in the works. But in the meantime, and I've been so excited to announce this and I can reveal the information. So um, one thing that people have always asked me is, Am I ever going to do Love Changes again? You know, are you willing to stream it? You know, just can you put it on Netflix, something like that? Like that. I always get asked particularly about that show. So um, I got the opportunity to connect with someone from this organization called On The Stage. It's a new up and coming streaming service for theater production companies. Um, they, it is rent, it's Sorry, I can't even talk. It was founded by a couple people from Broadway, and they realized that, you know, a lot of theater companies, especially local and regional theater companies, want to get their works out to the country, the entire country. And the best way to do it is streaming, especially since that's the technology that we're heading into, into, you know, into 2020, 2021, we're heading into that direction. So um, they reached out to me and we connected and you know, I told them the situation about No Ordinary Love and how I wanted to put it on, but COVID said no. Um, but however, um, because I had put that production on pause, they gave me the opportunity to stream one of my old shows. So I am streaming Love Changes. Um, it is going to be October 17th and 18th. And it's only, a, it's only, we're only asking for $10. So it, you can just pick a night and for $10, you can watch Love Changes. Um, the cool thing about this is you're going to hear from some cast members and crew members, people who were a part of the experience. And I don't, you know, I don't know who's able to be a part of it. You'll find out as we get closer. Um, they're going to like share their experiences of the journey that they were a part of with Love Changes. And I always brag on a show. That's like my baby, you know, and I don't try to have favorites. Each one is a baby, but that one is a different baby because that's the first stage play I ever wrote. And so it's near and dear to my heart. So you're going to get to hear from a couple cast members, a couple crew members of their experience of being a part of that journey. And I'm extremely, extremely excited about that happening. So again, mark your calendars for October 17th and 18th. So it's that Saturday and that Sunday. Um, it is going to be just a little conversation and it's going to be immediately following after love changes so you'll get to see the play but you'll also get to hear us speak on um our experiences with love changes um and all the and those proceeds will go towards our new project that we have coming up in 2021 so that's where we'll be going because you know i don't know if you guys know but the theater world really really got hit hard like it got really hit hard like our whole world had stopped even though like other things opened up like um restaurants and like i'm trying to think what stores and whatnot like other things opened back up but for the theater world we had to be on pause and in the dark like broadway is not even going on for the rest of the year they won't be going on to 2021 we've had to find creative ways to still move and shake so if you're a huge fan of that show please go check it out i will have the website up for it next week i will have the information for tickets all of those things will be up on monday the 12th of september so make sure you go spread the word word um we're very excited about this experience so yeah, but that's really all I've been up to. Like I said, it's been a lot, but it's been a good lot. Um, how do I feel about social media after being off of it for almost 40 days? It was the best experience, like the best. I really got back into me, like real live, like dug deep. So um, am I gonna be on social media again like that? Uh, no, because I like, I love my time. Like my time management was so different. I didn't realize how much I was in my phone. Like I really didn't. So like when I started the um when I started the sabbatical from social media, I had basically like I think it was like a week prior, I had set my screen cutoff times on my phone. And at one point I was on my phone so much, I like I had no clue. But within that 
first week of me setting the screen times, I had cut my phone time down, I think by like, I think I said like two hours or something because I was on social media so much. And then once I cut off my social media, my screen time dropped to 50%. And it's been low <laughs> ever since. So it showed me where my time was. So, you know, I'm still going to post certain updates and things regarding Dear Dot Nanny Man and stuff. But as far as like me, eh, you probably won't see me as much. So, because like I said, I'm working on some things. I'm trying to finish some, finish a race that I had started years ago. So I'm so grateful. But make sure, in the meantime, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Dear Dot Nanny Man Theater Productions. Instagram, Dear Dot Nettie May Official. We have a YouTube channel, Dear Dot Nettie May Theater Productions. On YouTube, go like and subscribe that to that channel. That's where you will get all of our updates, our announcements, everything that's going on in Dear Dot Nettie May's world. So, but thank you so much for supporting me and my brand and my vision. I'm eternally grateful for that. And I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Bye, guys.